Uh, hello guys, uh, today in this live stream, we will basically talk about how to integrate the Light Gallery JS plugin inside your Angular 14 application. So in the last live stream, I have talked about how to integrate, integrate it in the browser, but now I will be talking about how to integrate it inside Angular 14. This is basically the same images that I will use here for this tutorial also. You will see basically this is the gallery here and uh, the user can navigate to the previous image next image with these controls out there and the thumbnail of the images will be shown here at the bottom side corner of the screen and also we have all the controls out there we can rotate images in any direction anti-clockwise direction clockwise direction we can flip images like this also so fit cool little transition effect you can see that we can also share images with facebook Pinterest, all these social media networks with a single click. We can also zoom images, we can download images. So these are all the controls out there which is available in the form of plugins. We have talked about in the last live stream. So I will be showing you how to integrate this inside Angular 14. So if you go to this their official website guys which is Light Gallery JS, this is a very popular responsive image gallery module for JavaScript and it can be integrated with Vue.js, Angular, React. We will talk about how to integrate it in Angular 14. So this is their documentation. So I have written a complete blog post on my tutorial website how to integrate this step by step. If you face any sort of problem, you can go to my blog post. The link is given in the description of the video. So now let's get started by building this application. So I have already started this project on localhost 4200. Let me just delete that code and start from scratch. Let me just delete all this code. Let me delete all this and start from scratch. So the very first thing you need to do guys, you will see nothing will be there now. If I refresh it, go to localhost 4200, nothing will be shown. So if you make your Angular project guys, you need to install this module which is NPMI Light Gallery. So if you just install this module by this NPMI Light Gallery, I have already installed it. So I will now start this application by ng-serve. So the very first step you need to do right here, you need to go to app.module.ts file. This is basically the file you need to go to. And after this here, we need to copy paste this line or write this line, import. And here we need to import this from light gallery. And this slash angular. And basically, uh, we need to integrate this module, which is light gallery module. That's all. So it has this uh, light gallery module and inside the imports array, we need to add this light gallery module. That's all. So after you add this guys, close this file. Now you need to move to app.component.html file. And here you will define all the images that you need to show here. So inside your light gallery widget, light gallery widget here you will basically pass the settings so settings basically is the settings that we will define it in the typescript code so just write here settings here we will define this variable later on and here you need to basically paste all the images guys that you will see inside your uh, gallery so what i will see i will simply paste it you can use any of the images guys local images also just pass the address inside href attribute that's all we are using it using a pixel images from the internet that's all so if you just refresh this application guys nothing will happen you will see it is saying settings is not defined if i eliminate the settings here and try to refresh it you will see basically i just need to refresh it so three images will be shown here guys you will see that automatically uh, this module is defined here you will see automatically this counter is showing this is the first image i can navigate to the second image i can navigate to the third image so in this way you can see guys we have successfully in integrated the light gallery module now to show all those buttons that we saw in the starting of the video we need to add some plugins so now to add those plugins we need to go to app.component.css file so let me just add the settings here so now to add those plugins just go to your app.component.css file and here we need to add those code here for each of the plugin 
so i have given all the css code guys which is required for this so you can go to my blog post and simply copy paste this these cdn links simply paste it so this is basically the cdn link for each of the plugin that we see zoom video share rotate thumbnail light gallery so simply paste all these cdn links guys and just close this file now we need to go to app.component.ts file we need to define the settings variable so inside your settings variable guys we will basically define we will let me just define this settings this, this will be a simple object which will contain the plugins so plugins basically it's a array and here we can uh, define any of the plugins and now to basically individually import the plugin we need to do it lg zoom so this basically comes slide gallery slash plugin slash zoom so similarly now to add this functionality what we can say we can say lg zoom that's all so now your zoom button will be shown guys if you see localhost 4200 you can see this is your zoom button you can see that zoom button is present right here you can zoom the image like this and similarly we have all those plugins guys we can follow the same approach we can say lg thumbnail from light gallery plugins thumbnail and then we can add this inside this array which is lg thumbnail so you will see guys the, the thumbnails will also be shown here we can navigate through clicking on the thumbnail and similarly we have the plugin for rotating the images we will say lg sorry share let me first of all do the share one light gallery plugins share so if you want to share the images we can add this plugin also so you can add the share button you will see that and similarly we can have the rotate as well so if you want to rotate your images you can also add this plugin so all the rotated rotated buttons will be added here you can flip the images in any direction top right left right corner top bottom and last lastly i think we also have the full screen plugin as well if you want to view your uh, image in a full screen you can also do it so you will see we have the full screen i think uh, full screen you will see you can now view your image in full screen so in this way guys you can integ uh, integrate this light gallery dot js responsive library inside your angular 14 application i have given all the steps in my blog post you can go to the description of this live stream and copy paste all the source code please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next one